program we want to revive this very important crop which I will tell you shortly. Uh, so how did this come about? The government of India had proposed to the United Nations for declaring that 2023 be the International Year of Millet. This was backed by 72 countries around the world which compelled the United Nations General Assembly to declare this year, 2023, as the International Year of Millet on 5th of March, 2021. So this day, this year, was already planted two years ago. The main objective of this is to make people the center of the movement to bring about millet in their household, to encourage farmers to take up millet farming, which is totally an eco-friendly crop that does not require irrigation facilities or external inputs and has a negligible carbon content footprint. Millet are very high fiber crops and minerals that make one of the healthiest cereals. In comparison to rice, the iron content in millet is five times higher and calcium content is 30 times higher. So you can imagine the importance of this crop. nice to come to a program outdoors like this, nice to see uh, how farmers, entrepreneurs are motivated to meet at some point with the health experts and the agricultural specialists to build for ourselves a state which is healthy, a state which goes back to its roots, identify traditional plants like the millet, crop like the millet, and promote its uh, generation. So these are the kinds of forums, madam, where politicians like us, the political masters, get to understand the direction at which the bureaucrats along with other stakeholders are taking the state forward too. Thanks to the United Nations for recognizing millet as not only a very nutritious crop, but a crop that is actually dying in its um, cultivation. and this is our baker. She's Grace Aim Young and I'm Avisha and we're making products out of millet. So we make um, bread, cookies, cakes, um, pastries and sandwiches out of millet and we're trying to promote it as a crop in Meghalaya. We procure it from, we procure it locally and we're encouraging farmers to grow millet as well as encouraging people to change their diet and make it healthier. 
There are two problems. One would be awareness. People are not aware of what millet is in the first place. It's called cry in um, Khasi. And um, other than that, it's an acquired taste. It, it doesn't taste like flour, which everyone's used to. So it takes a little time for people to get used to it. But of course, our taste is something that we're very, really proud of. And um, yeah. Other than that, we're trying to make it a bit more popular and get into mainstream market. Thank you.